consider ourselves to be a small town, uh, some you know, situated between Tampa and Orlando. And when stuff like this happens, you know, it, it, it just kind of hits home with me a little bit that, uh, you know, maybe we're not a small town anymore. And it, it actually is pretty sad. So. Right now at 11, 10 people injured in a shooting from what's believed to be a targeted drive-by in Lakeland. The police chief says two victims are in critical condition tonight. Thank you for joining us for First Coast News at 11. I'm Heather Crawford. And I'm Anthony Austin. This is the country's latest mass shooting, and this is what we know tonight. Police are treating the 10 victims, all adult men, ranging in ages from 20 to 35. Again, two victims are in critical condition. The other eight have non-life-threatening injuries. That's according to Lakeland's police chief. He says a car um, with uh, four people inside started firing at the men who were on both sides of the street. That car then drove off. The police chief says drugs were found at the scene, and he's looking into whether there may have been a drug deal happening at the time of the shooting. We have reason to believe that this was a targeted event, that it was not a random act. Um, we did locate a quantity of marijuana at the scene, which would indicate that um, obviously there were some narcotic sales or sales of marijuana going on at the time. Um, and whether that is significant or related to this, it's unknown right now. The police chief says investigators will continue to canvass the neighborhood. Police have not made any arrest. More fallout.